Shang-Chi. Uh, I want to say this was unexpected drop for this trailer because I, I certainly didn't expect it. I didn't see anybody online. Oh, yeah. It's coming. Like, even, even Simu Liu was like, yeah, trailer in a couple of weeks. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then Marvel was like, happy birthday. Interrupted. Well, is that scripted or not? It probably is. <laughs> you, I, At the same time. I mean, you never know these days because, like, Honestly, there was nothing on the internet. Nobody was reporting on it or even teasing yeah. it. It was just like silent, silent, silent. Oh, hey, here's the trailer. Or first it was the poster, and like 15 minutes later, the trailer dropped. It was yeah. like, oh, wow, this is nice. It, it was a good week. It's a really nice poster as well. It's very basic, but it's yep. a real nice poster. It's it just looks good. It really just gets out there. It's like, hey, it tells you it's a like, look. New character, never seen this guy before. It's different. It's, I don't know, like the reaction to it was, well, I don't want to say overwhelmingly positive, because of course, I'm like, look at the Instagram post on the uh, Marvel Studios page, I'm going to check the comments, positive, 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 let's scroll a little bit more down, oh, there they are, here's the negative comments, so, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, to be fair, the most of the negative stuff I've seen is angry Iron Fist fans, all 12 of them. Hey, don't clump really me in with those fans. People... <laughs> I am not angry. I will have you know. I am more excited than anything because this, you know, it's like, yeah, Iron Fist got done dirty, but he'll get reintroduced in this series. I can just feel it. Like there's, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I, be surprised. It's... Um, I think I think the reason why they're angry though is people keep saying that Shang Chi can beat. Iron Fist, which is factually correct. Uh, it's true. Yeah. Iron Fist is the chance, but absolutely no, no hope in hell. Yeah, and they're kind of like, oh, no. It's just like, guys, look, he had a really bad show. He's kind of a mediocre character. Just get over it. It's fine. Yeah, it's... You, can, you can like the show and the mediocre character. It's fine. It's what they did with him did not work. Shang-Chi at least looks somewhat, you know, more interesting than that show, and by somewhat I mean infinitely. Mm -hmm. So that it has that going yeah. for it. Um, I fist is a left hand, Shang Chi is the right hand. <laughs> well, I, I do want to bring this up because it's something interesting that I've noticed, and I don't know if you checked, but um, the target market for this movie is having the exact opposite reaction. Because like worldwide, it's like, oh yeah, people are like, cool, more Marvel. This looks interesting. Hong Kong and Taiwan are not having any of this. Like, it's more negative than positive. Right. Yeah, it's it's really mm. interesting. And it's like, hmm. And what I found interesting more is that Hong Kong and, like, other Chinese territories are not so much in arms, like, about anything, like, that has to do there. It's like, oh, scenes were shot in China. Ooh, Mulan problem. Instead, it's like the opposite. They're just like, no, not Shang-Chi for some reason. And my takeaway from looking at it and doing the whole translate, you know, reports from overseas is they're just not happy that the film was directed and it's in charge by people that are from America. But they think it looks good. That's I the mean, consensus. that's fair. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean... It, it, it does, like, I understand it. The moment I saw that, I was like, oh, now I understand the negative backlash. Mm -hmm. I get it. And it's, you know, I mean, th there was never a scenario where Shang-Chi is produced and made all by China without Disney or Kevin Feige having his hands on it, right? Like, that just doesn't yeah, exist. Yeah. It, so it was always going to have people from the United States involved with it. So it's like one of those things, it's like this thing is going to exist like this because it has to, and if it didn't exist like this, it wouldn't exist anyway. So it's like, hmm, it, it's a weird position to be in when you look at it. I, I just hope that it gets the same turnout as Black Panther did. Yeah. I hope that the, the Asian community does turn out for this. Mm -hmm. Like the, you know, the black community came out for Black Panther. Yeah, it because from, from the look of it, this movie deserves it. This thing is like nuts. It looks crazy. It does. It it looks amazing. It looks interesting. It looks like a new corner of the MCU that we've never seen before. Like it's and I've seen this with a lot of people as well. And this is sort of like 
you know, how I gauge the normal people, right? Like, you, you put that net out there, you see, oh, who gets caught in that net of new things, right? And my wife, she's uh, going to be a third degree black belt. So she's friends with a lot of martial artists. So I have them obviously on my friends list. And I was like, I'm interested because these people aren't your typical comic book fans, right? Mm -hmm. So I went and checked and overwhelming amount of them were sharing that trailer. Even people that they're not like comic book fans or they've seen a couple MCU films at most. Yeah. They were all sharing it super excited and my wife was like, check this out. Even in our private group, somebody shared a trailer and it's all positive talk by martial artists being like, I can't wait to see this. So I think they've kind of cracked another little nut here. That's like, look, let's get some of these people as well. Like, I think this thing is going to be pretty damn big. Like, it's it mm. has all the makings of something that that's going to bring in a whole different crowd. So that's... Yeah, we just have to... Because they, they specifically didn't say where it's coming out in this trailer mm. i know you don't tend to do that straight away but in this current thing it's kind of like just just, just tell us where it's coming <laughs> yeah. so it i i think if everything's okay it's going to be huge yeah. i think even if everything's not if we're still not where we are now i think it's got a good chance that if godzilla versus kong can do exactly like, yep. 400 million while having both then there's no way this makes less yeah, that's sort of my stance and, like, look on it as well. I think this is going to be pretty good, Um, you know, for box office take. And Black Widow will quite clearly dictate this film's future. You know, it's like, hey, look, mm -hmm. if if video on demand is good enough, then maybe. But I think they they want this to be theatrical. So I think that's how it's going to go. It's It looks good. The most of the reactions are overwhelmingly positive, so I haven't seen too much negativity on it either from, like, you know, MCU fans. I mean, there's always your corner of the fan base that's like, they're pushing agendas. It's like, ah, you guys just keep screeping into the void. Like, just... Yeah. It's like, oh, no, an Asian person exists. It's woke. It's like, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, that's, that's literally it. <laughs> just like, okay, they exist. Cool. Yeah. Cool. It's... That's that's a thing. It's in this. Um, any closing thoughts on Shang Chi that maybe we haven't covered? Um, I want to see it. That's about. It. That's yep. That's about it. Um, <laughs> and say so what we haven't covered um, after that breakdown in this. Uh, no, I think we covered basically everything. All right, good enough. Actually, so... no. I I want to see that little like flying testicle spirit thing. Yeah. What the hell is that? <laughs> It's um, I'm not. I have no idea how you pronounce. It. I think it's like a Dijang, yeah, or something like that. It's like D I J I A N G or something. It's along those lines, but it's like a spirit that's like a perpetually confused. It, it was also nice for Marvel to hide Aquafina's character and then for them to drop the toys 24 hours later and confirm exactly what we said in our breakdown. Oh, she's probably yeah, asking she's someone. at someone. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Dang. And that toy looks like that, that toy just screams Mulan to me. It does, yeah. It's like, oh, the red kimono, the dark hair, the bow and arrow. Like, yeah, that's yep. <laughs> that looks like a Mulan figure, Marvel. But... <laughs> we got to, we'll have to see what she... I have to see what um they do with her because they're sticking with the Marvels, Katie. Yep. <laughs> oh, Marvel. Well, at least they what got ahead of the weeks, up? so you know. Yeah, I say, what you turn out of that um, that woman in the forest is the um, oh, I can't remember what the Iron Fist was called. Oh, Wuashi, or is that yeah, one? Of the yeah. Who was Clean Wing related to in the series? That's her. That'd be her grandmother or great grandmother. Yeah. Yep. And they're they're doing that thing with uh, Aquafina instead. That's I've been saying that all along. Like that's I have this feeling they're gonna they're gonna backdoor the iron fists into this through this film through like weird connections like yeah and i'd be okay with that like 100 percent okay with it so same same yeah, yeah. There's, there's no reason not to bring in iron fist in this thing especially if you're going back to like old feudal Asia. exactly like there's guardian lines running about which i want to know how that plays into everything it's just like hey wait a minute <laughs> right Those things are real how old is this guy mm -hmm. well um, we'll talk more about it because guaranteed we're getting another trailer probably right before Black Widow so they can attach it to it. So um, 
yeah got a couple months to go till this really so it's coming in september we'll see how uh that goes